The U.S. and the Philippines conducted a three-day aerial exercise together last week, with fighters from both nations operating over the strategically vital South China Sea. The joint drill ran from November 21 to 23, with two U.S. F-15 Eagles flying alongside two Philippines Air Force F-A-50s, a Pacific Air Force's spokesperson told Air and Space Forces magazine. The aerial exercise was part of a larger maritime and aerial cooperation activity between U.S. Indo-Pacific Command and the Armed Forces of the Philippines, according to a PACF release. The South China Sea is a hotly contested region the People's Republic of China claims sovereignty over much of the heavily trafficked waters and has used what the U.S. and its allies call coercive and aggressive behavior to reinforce its claims. U.S. forces, meanwhile, continue to operate in the region in accordance with international law, even as the Pentagon has noted an uptick in unsafe and unprofessional incidents by Chinese warplanes and ships. U.S. forces routinely operate with allies and partners in defense of the rules-based international order and will continue to do so to maintain peace and stability in the region, the PACF release noted. The U.S. and the Philippines, which also has claims in the South China Sea, have tightened their alliance in recent months. U.S. Air Force F-22s deployed to the Philippines for the first time ever, and in May, the two countries reintroduced the Cope Thunder aerial exercise after a 33-year hiatus. More recently, the two countries marked the completion of the Basa Air Base runway upgrade, a project backed by a $24 million investment from Washington. The upgraded 8,000-foot runway featuring reinforced pavement can now accommodate larger aircraft, such as cargo planes used by the Philippine Air Force. It is expected that runway will also facilitate future U.S. aircraft operations, as part of the country's recently expanded Enhanced Defense Cooperation Agreement EDCA. Bossett Air Base, situated about 40 miles northwest of Metro Manila, was constructed by the U.S. in the 1940s, prior to World War II. Secretary of Defense Lloyd Austin and Philippine Secretary of National Defense Gilberto Tudor Jr. met in Jakarta, emphasizing alliance modernization and the progress of the EDCA, including the newly finished Bossa runway. As an extension of the ACN Defense Minister's Meeting Plus, the two secretaries convened and reaffirmed their commitment to cultivating a transparent and peaceful Indo-Pacific region. Austin also reiterated Washington's commitment to defend the Philippines' sovereignty in its exclusive economic zone, EEZ. Beijing's territorial claims of the South China Sea overlap with the Philippines' EEZ, leading to tensions and disputes over maritime rights and resources. The U.S. expressed support for the Philippines against China's Coast Guard and maritime militia, which obstructed a Philippine resupply mission in the South China Sea. In a display of strength in defense cooperation and regional security, F-15 Eagles from the United States Air Force recently conducted joint training exercises with the Philippines over the South China Sea. This development underscores the commitment of the two nations to enhancing their capabilities and preparedness in the face of regional security challenges. The South China Sea has been a focal point of geopolitical tensions in recent years due to competing territorial claims by multiple nations and concerns about freedom of navigation in the region.
The United States has consistently emphasized its commitment to a free and open Indo-Pacific, and its partnership with the Philippines plays a significant role in ensuring regional stability. The joint training exercises involving F-15 Eagles, versatile and highly capable fighter aircraft, represent a critical component of the ongoing U.S.-Philippines defense partnership. Here are some key points to consider. The joint training exercises highlight the growing defense ties between the United States and the Philippines. Joint training exercises like these promote regional stability by deterring potential threats and enhancing the capabilities of nations committed to upholding international norms and laws. Military cooperation involves more than just hardware. It also includes the ability to work seamlessly together. These joint exercises facilitate interoperability between U.S. and Philippine forces, ensuring they can effectively coordinate and respond to potential threats if necessary.